New tonight, elected officials all across the state are abruptly resigning before the new year. We're talking about the vice mayor in Naples, four city council members in St. Pete Beach, including the vice mayor, four council members in Bel Air Beach, the mayor and a council member in Dinellon, two city commissioners in Daytona Beach Shores, and there are even more, way too many to list. Fox 35's Chris Lindsay is joining us live from Daytona Beach Shores tonight. So Chris, this is all over a new law that's about to go into effect. Yes, starting January 1st, elected officials will have to fill out Form 6. It discloses all of their financial information. And all over the state of Florida, officials are stepping down because they believe that form is an invasion of privacy. We don't get a dime for what we do here. We do this for the love of our community. Bel Air Beach Mayor Dave Gaddis says four of his five council members have resigned ahead of the new year all because of a new form they will have to fill out starting January 1st. It requires them to share their net worth and the dollar amount of every asset they own over $1,000. The goal to achieve transparency and identify conflicts of interest. Why did it suddenly have to become so invasive? We were already reporting our, our financial situation, uh, but now they want it so granular that um, it almost looks like an attack on home rule and an attack on small uh, municipalities. In Daytona Beach Shores, two commissioners have stepped down, leaving just three left until the city can fill the empty seats in March. Commissioner Richard Bryan says he was planning to resign for other reasons. As I'm working on an extremely important public health effort. But the news of this new law sped up his decision. I think it will have the effect of significantly reducing the number of qualified people who are willing to run for local office. I mean, your net worth doesn't have anything to do with your conflict of interest. I reached out to Lake Mary State Senator Jason Brodeur, who sponsored the new law, which the governor signed back in May. He issued a statement which partially reads, In a city, you can spend tens of millions of dollars with as little as three votes. Taxpayers deserve transparency. If a simple disclosure that hundreds of other elected officials already do makes someone quit, then voters should be glad. And another city councilor who stepped down here in Daytona Beach Shores just walked up a couple of moments ago. He didn't want to be on camera, but he said that it is indeed an invasion of his privacy. He says that today is his last day and his tenure is over at midnight tonight. Reporting live in Daytona Beach Shores, Chris Lindsay, Fox 35 News.